doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor. We believe climate change is the greatest investment opportunity of our generation. That's why the African Green Infrastructure Investment Bank, AFGIB, is investing for generational climate returns. Join Africa's Green Investment Bank and its partners for action on the just transition and emissions reduction targets in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt for an epic 2022 African COP27. The African Green Infrastructure Investment Bank, AFGIB, committing capital to a climate safe future. We will now move to Ambassador uh, Mary Wallach, who is the Deputy Executive Director of the International Energy Agency, for her opening keynote remarks. The floor is yours, Ambassador. Thank you, Hubert, for inviting me to speak today. Fostering the financial conditions for a rapid deployment of clean energy in emerging and developing economies, including Africa, is one of the defining challenges of our times. To coincide with this event, the IEA published a briefing note on financing clean energy transitions in Africa in partnership with the African Green Infrastructure Investment Bank. Drawing on our previous research on Africa, we found that while per capita emissions in Africa are relatively low, the continent will be a significant source of future growth in global emissions without major efforts to transform its energy systems. So staying on track with 1.5 degrees Celsius involves shifting to a new energy economy with vast amounts of investment in clean energy. As set out in the World Energy Outlook released earlier this month, to meet net zero emissions goals, a surge in global annual investment in clean energy is required to around $4 trillion by 2030. Sub-Saharan Africa sees the fastest rising call on economic resources devoted to energy investment. And to keep the door open for the world to meet the goal of net zero emissions by 2050, even greater progress will be needed to boost investment. Africa has traditionally relied heavily on public sources of finance, but there needs to be a dramatic scale up of private capital to fund nearly 60% of clean investments by 2030, with a private share continuing to rise over time. There is no shortage of private capital worldwide, but it is not finding its way to the countries, sectors, and projects where it is most needed. Sustainable debt issuances has soared to record levels, but we don't currently see the same rate of change in capital expenditures in clean energy projects on the ground. So it is critical to bring down the cost of capital, which is seven times higher in Africa than in advanced economies, and sometimes even more. One of the defining features of energy transitions is the shift towards more capital-intensive technologies, which require higher upfront spending, but then have lower operating costs. Assets like wind turbines, solar panels, or electric cars. Many countries in Africa do not yet have a clear vision or the supportive policy and regulatory environment that can drive rapid energy transitions. Project-specific factors are often compounded by broader cross-cutting issues which undermine risk-adjusted returns for investors and the availability of bankable projects. The international community must up its game to ensure all countries have access to the financing they need to bring modern energy technologies and new economic opportunities to their citizens. Mobilizing the huge wealth in global capital markets is critical to funding clean energy transitions. And this requires developing new mechanisms to link sustainable finance with opportunities to support SDG 7 and reward ambitious energy transition strategies. This includes actions to make it easier to prepare clean energy projects, get energy price signals right, and put state-owned utilities on firmer financial footing. It also means putting in place policies that support investable projects across clean power, efficiency, and electrification, 
as well as transitions for fuels and emissions intensive sectors. The creation of new regulatory frameworks, such as the African Green Infrastructure Investment Bank's Innovative Institutional Investor Public Partnership Framework will help tackle many of these cross-cutting issues, allowing for the mobilization and deployment of private capital at scale and speed. Through its world-class data, analysis, and policy advice, and drawing upon successful examples around the world, the IEA will continue to explore ways to support the mobilization of private capital for clean energy transitions in Africa, notably through its work on an upcoming Sub-Saharan Africa outlook next year. The task ahead is urgent and essential. Strong international collaboration and deep engagement with government policymakers and the financial community are required to enable ambitious strategies for attracting and efficiently deploying international climate finance. We at the IEA are fully committed to supporting governments, financial institutions, and private sector to reach net zero goals in a fair and inclusive way. We look forward to further collaboration with the African Green, Energy, Green Infrastructure Investment Bank, the African Union, CFA New York Asset Owners Council, G20 Global Infrastructure Hub, and all other partners on the road to COP27. Thank you. We believe climate change is the greatest investment opportunity of our generation. That's why the African Green Infrastructure Investment Bank, AFGIB, is investing for generational climate returns. Join Africa's Green Investment Bank and its partners for action on the just transition and emissions reduction targets in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt for an epic 2022 African COP27. The African Green Infrastructure Investment Bank, AFGIB, committing capital to a climate safe future. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.